Welcome to YQ Academy SQL Interview Questions and Answers. 1. What is the difference between local temporary table and global temporary table? 1. Scope. Local temporary tables are visible and accessible only to the session slash connection that created them. Their session slash connections cannot see or access these tables. Global temporary tables are visible and accessible to all session slash connections in a database. Multiple session slash connections can create, insert data into, and query the same global temporary table. 2. Table creation. Local temporary tables are created using a single hash symbol before the table name, e.g., hash temp underscore table. They are automatically dropped and their data is deleted when the session slash connection that created them is closed or when the table is explicitly dropped. Global temporary tables are created using a double hash hash symbol before the table name, e.g., hash hash temp underscore table. They persist until the last session slash connection using the table is closed or until the table is explicitly dropped. 3. Usage. Local temporary tables are useful when you need to store and manipulate temporary data within a specific session. They can be used to hold intermediate results or temporary data during complex queries or stored procedures. Global temporary tables are useful when you need to share temporary data across multiple sessions or when you want to maintain temporary data for longer durations. They can be used for temporary data sharing or for storing intermediate results. 4. Concurrency. Each session slash connection can create its own instance of a local temporary table with the same name. These instances are separate and independent allowing different sessions slash connections to work with their own temporary data. Global temporary tables can be accessed and modified by multiple sessions slash connections simultaneously. Changes made by one session slash connection are visible to other sessions slash connections that access the table. 5. Cleanup. Global temporary tables remain in the database until they are explicitly dropped or until the last session slash connection using the table is closed. It's important to manage their cleanup to prevent unnecessary data retention. 2. What is database normalization? Database normalization is the process of organizing and structuring a relational database design to eliminate redundancy and dependency issues. It involves breaking down a database into multiple tables and applying specific rules called normal forms to ensure data integrity and optimize data storage. The main goals of database normalization are to reduce data redundancy, minimize data update anomalies, and improve data consistency and integrity. 3. What is SQL? SQL Structured Query Language is a programming language used for managing and manipulating relational databases. It provides a standardized way to interact with databases, enabling users to perform various operations such as querying data, inserting, updating, and deleting records creating and modifying database structures, and executing complex database operations. Key features and uses of SQL. 1. Database querying. The SQL allows users to retrieve data from databases using queries. The select statement is used to specify the columns and conditions for fetching data from one or more tables. 2. Database modification. The SQL provides commands like insert, update, and delete to add modify, and delete data in database tables. These commands enable users to perform data manipulation operations based on specific conditions. 3. Database Schema Creation and Modification The SQL supports commands for creating and altering database objects such as tables, views, indexes, constraints, and stored procedures. These commands enable users to define the structure and relationships within a database. Four. Data Integrity Enforcement The SQL allows the definition of integrity constraints such as primary keys, foreign keys, unique constraints, and check constraints. These constraints help maintain data integrity by enforcing rules and restrictions on the data stored in the database. 5. Data Control and Security The SQL provides commands for managing user access and privileges to databases and their objects. Users can grant or revoke permissions to control data access and ensure database security. 6. 
data aggregation and reporting. SQL supports powerful aggregate functions such as sum, count, AVG, max, and min, allowing users to perform calculations and generate summary reports based on data in the database. 7. Data Joins SQL enables users to combine data from multiple tables using join operations. Joins allow users to retrieve data that spans across related tables based on specified conditions. 4. What are the differences between DDL, DML, and DCL in SQL? Data Definition Language DDL DDL is used to define and manage the structure of database objects. It includes statements for creating altering, and dropping database objects such as tables, views, indexes, and schemas. Key characteristics of DDL are 1. Object creation. DDL statements like create are used to create new database objects, specifying their names, columns, data types, constraints, and other attributes. 2. Object modification. VDL statements like alter are used to modify the structure of existing database objects. For example, you can add or drop columns, change data types, or add constraints. 3. Object deletion. VDL statements like drop are used to remove database objects entirely, including tables, views, indexes, or schemas. 4. Auto commit. VDL statements are usually auto committed meaning they are immediately executed and permanently affect the database structure. Examples of DDL statements. Create table, alter table, drop table, create index, create view. Data manipulation language DML. DML is used to retrieve, manipulate, and manage data within the database. It includes statements for querying, inserting, updating, and deleting data. Key characteristics of DML are 1. Data Retrieval The ML statements like SELECT are used to query and retrieve data from one or more database tables based on specified conditions. 2. Data Manipulation The ML statements like INSERT, UPDATE, and DELETE are used to add, modify, and remove data within database tables. 3. Transaction Control the ML statements can be part of a transaction and can be used with transaction control statements like commit and rollback to ensure data consistency and integrity. 4. Granular data manipulation. The ML operates on individual rows or sets of rows within a table, allowing precise control over data changes. Examples of DML statements. Select, insert into, update, delete from. Data control language DCL. DCL is used to manage the access control and permissions of database objects. It includes statements for granting and revoking permissions, controlling user access, and ensuring data security. Key characteristics of DCL are 1. User access control. DCL statements like grant and revoke are used to grant or revoke privileges and permissions to users or roles for specific database objects. Two. Data security. DCL statements control access to sensitive data, ensuring that only authorized users can perform certain operations on the database. 3. Data integrity. DCL statements can enforce integrity constraints such as primary key constraints and referential integrity through the use of privileges and permissions. Examples of DCL statements. Grant, revoke. This is the end of our SQL interview questions. We hope you enjoyed learning with YQ Academy. Until next time, goodbye.